Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are still in the parish of St. James. There are many attractions in the parish of St. James. One great attraction is the White Witch of Rosal Haunted House. Legend has it that there was an evil, manipulative, crazy lady named Annie Palmer. It is said that she practiced voodoo and she murdered all her husbands. It is said that she murdered them to maintain control over the beautiful Rosal Estate. The legend also has it that Annie Palmer, she slept with numerous slaves. It is also said that she murdered scores of men women and children legend also has it that her reign of terror ended when one of her lovers strangled her to death Annie Palmer, she was buried on the property continue to sit back continue to relax and continue to enjoy this journey with me now that queen on your screen her name is erica erica will be hosting her birthday party tomorrow Friday, September 23. It will be held along the Robins River Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. Check it out. Queen Erica, you have been a day one subscriber to this channel. Big up your nice, clean self. Enough respect. Now, in today's news, we have an exclusive for you today. A young man, he was shot and killed at Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. This took place yesterday afternoon we are going to be giving you some exclusive details as to why this young man was killed stand by for it but in this first incident now we carried a story last week tuesday september 13th and we told you that a 64 year old farmer named mr joseph gallimore he was popularly known as skin he lived at a place named joe hut in the wait a bit police area in the parish of chilani we told you that Skin, he was found chopped to death the previous day. Monday, September 12th, 2022, he was found in a hut on a farm in the same Joe Hut community. The hoodlum who killed him also stole his Toyota Probox motor car. As a matter of fact, someone was seen driving Skin Toyota Probox the previous night. So we are learning that that person who was allegedly seen driving away the Toyota Probox. He was identified. We are told that he is called Liebert. Now, early yesterday morning, Wednesday, September 21, 2022, about 5.30, a team of police officers based in the parish of Trelawney, they carried out a raid at a house at a place named Refuge District in the Duncan's police area. A house was searched and bingo. The police officers... They found Liebert, who was wanted for the killing of Skin. It is said that Liebert, he's in his early 20s. Not only that, the police officers, they also found a 9mm pistol with four rounds of 9mm cartridges. Liebert, he was taken into police custody and he will be charged for the offenses of illegal possession of firearm and illegal possession of ammunition. As also... He will be interrogated in relation to the death of Mr. Joseph Gallimore, also known as Skin, a man who is at least three times the age of Liebert. Ah oh boy. Anyhow, congratulations to the Trelawney police for taking off this hoodlum off of the streets and congratulations for recovering that illegal weapon. Job well done. Let's hope that if this piece of nastiness is involved, you find the evidence so you can charge him and take him before the courts. In this next incident, this one took place yesterday morning. Wednesday, September 21, 2022, about 12 midday. It took place right in front of the CNWJ Credit Union along the Top Lincoln Main Road at Grangeville in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that a man, he's popularly known as Mylard, and he's a bike taxi operator. It is said that Mylard is in his late 
40s. He lives in the same Grange Hill area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that Mylard, he was riding his motorcycle. He was heading towards the Grange Hill Square. We are told that a white Toyota Mark X motor car drove up beside the motorcycle that Mylard was riding. Hoodlums in the car, they then opened gunfire at Mylard. He was shot, but he still managed to jump off the motorcycle and ran to the nearby Grangehill Police Station. Well, the correct name for the police station at Grangehill is the Morgansbridge Police Station. Did you know that? So, my lord, he managed to run to the Morgansbridge Police Station where he was rushed to a nearby hospital. He had received gunshot wounds to his left foot, his groin area, his abdomen and his right side. We are told that Mylard, he was treated and admitted in a serious condition. The mayhem. Now, this next story. Sad indeed. It took place yesterday morning. Wednesday, September 21, 2022, about 12 midday. It took place at a place named Haddington District in the Ramble Police area in the parish of Hanover. So we are learning that two brothers, they went into some bushes to pick some coconuts. They had planned on selling the coconuts. One of the brothers, his name is Odin Earl. He was 35 years old and he lived in the same Haddington area. His brother, he's known as Biggie. Our information is that Odin, he used a machete to chop a coconut tree. The coconut tree that he chopped, it fell and it rested on another tree. What Odin did next proved to be a fatal move. It is said that he then chopped that tree that the coconut tree was resting on. Both trees fell and one of the trees hit Odin in his head. Odin, he fell and he was pinned to the ground by one of the trees. Odin's brother, Biggie, he managed to push the tree off Odin's head. It is said that Biggie, he then checked Odin and realized that he was still breathing. Biggie, he then ran out to the main road some distance away to seek help. But by the time help could come, it was too late. We are told that when help reached, Odin, he was seen lying on his right side. Blood was coming from his mouth and his nostrils. We are told that the left side of his head was bashed in. Odin, he was lifeless. It is suspected that Odin, he took his last breath when Biggie ran out the road for assistance. The police, they were informed and Odin, he was taken to the Noel Holmes Hospital, where he was so pronounced. We are told that a post-mortem examination will be done to ascertain exactly what caused Odin's death. And the Ramble police, they are carrying out investigation. Sad indeed. So let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? Have you touched on the thumbs up button? as yet if you have not yet done so remember to do it and if you are over this side watching this channel remember if you have not yet done so hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell then click all so that as soon as we drop a new video you will be the first to be notified in the final story for today you are gonna want to listen this one to the very end it is very very interesting on the night of march 4th 2020 a taxi driver popularly known as blacker he had just returned off the road after a hard day's work he returned to his home at pentecost lane in darlistan in the parish of westmoreland as blacker parked his taxi and was heading into his house he was approached by a hoodlum who was armed with a gun the hoodlum opened gunfire at Blacker, hitting him. It is said that one of Blacker's relatives was close by and he gave this hoodlum one bitch lick. No, I am not being disrespectful. If a Jamaican tell you that they're going to give you one bitch lick, 
be ye afraid because you're gonna get a serious blow so the relative he intervened and he gave this hoodlum who shot blacker one bitch lick the hoodlum he dropped the gun and he ran off some persons who lived in the area they came out and blacker he was rushed to the savannah lamar hospital where he was treated blacker's injuries they were not considered life-threatening so he was treated and released sometime after hear this now the guy who had attacked and shot blacker he didn't run too far we are told that he was still lurking in the area it is suspected that he wanted to try and get back the gun because we are told that he had rented that gun someone in the area spotted that guy and phone calls started circulating that the guy who shot blacker he was still in the lane he was also identified as rowan daly he was popularly known as papa and papa he lived at a place named hopewell in the darleston area in the parish of westmoreland we are told that some men in the area they came out and they circled papa and justice in the jungle was applied papa he was beaten and he was chopped one of the persons in the crowd was that man on your screen his name is dino cook at the time of this incident with papa dino was 25 years old we are told that dino he knew papa from a long time it is said that dino he tried to save papa we are told that at one stage he even lay down on papa trying to stop the men from inflicting blows to him however dino's pleas fell on deaf ears papa he was killed by the mob it is said that papa he has relatives in other areas and they started sending threats that papa's death na gosso we are told that even blacker who was shot he and his family they had to move from the area as he and his family they were being threatened dino he's not known to be a troublemaker dino was not involved in any gang activities it is said that dino he loved football and he loved watching schoolboy football so yesterday wednesday september 21 2022 Dino was heard telling some friends in the Darlistan area where he lived that he was going to a football match later. We are told that a friend even asked Dino, where will the match be played? Dino responded, me not even sure if a Petersfield or Mannings, but all me know, me a go a match today. At minutes to three yesterday afternoon, Dino, he boarded a Toyota Voxy at Darlistan in the parish of Westmoreland. That Toyota Voxy was being driven by one of Dino's friends. Another man was also in the Voxy. They left Darlistan to attend a schoolboy football match. But on reaching in the Petersfield area, as fate would have it, the Voxy it developed a puncture. There is a tire shop near to where the Voxy developed the puncture. So the driver, he drove into the tire shop. Whilst the tire and the voxy was being changed, we are told that Dino, he walked to a nearby supermarket where he bought something. It is said that it was that time Dino was spotted by someone who is acquainted to Papa. You remember who Papa is? Yes, man, the same guy who shot Blacker and justice in the jungle was applied. It is said that someone acquainted to Papa spot dino when he went to buy the biscuit and that someone had vowed revenge so dino he was now back from the supermarket and he was at the tire shop it is said that he stood outside and was talking to someone when a hoodlum walked up this hoodlum he pulled a gun pointed it to dino's head and pumped five bullets in his head Dino, he fell to the ground and the hoodlum, he then made Buddhist escape. From all indication, 
Dino died on the spot. The police were called and we are told that when they processed this crime scene, five 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sea, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Mama 